Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Anime Chan. Today I'm going to be watching Dr. Stone episode 10, A Flimsy Alliance. So last time when I saw that the episode name was A Flimsy Alliance, I googled the word flimsy. Even though I knew what it meant, I just wanted to make sure it meant like flimsy is like weak. It's not very strong, not a good connection. Yeah, so it's basically... Have it making an alliance with someone, working together with someone, but your agreement upon working together is, uh, it hangs by a thread. And that's why I'm thinking it refers to Gen, because Gen kind of just wants to work with whoever's gonna benefit him, which is fine, I guess. It's not the most valiant character, but it's realistic to some extent because that's what most people would do you know whatever benefits me the most and now i just thought of something you know how actually true that is most people they would do that uh choose whatever works best for them but when someone else does the same thing and doesn't choose and chooses something that benefits them but doesn't benefit them then they're like you're a bad person it's actually kind of funny but anyway don't want to get too philosophical about this. Let's jump into the episode. Look at that face. <laughs> I do that a lot. That scared me. Don't tell Tsukasa in the line. Please, 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 please. That Tsukasa is the killer of the Senku murder case. You're dead. You're not going to die. 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 That's why you're going to kill the Senku. That's why you're going to kill the Senku. ゲンはその仲間ってことじゃあゲンは悪い人なんだよひたすらに軽薄な子守男だ科学王国の仲間にゲットするしかねえんだよ司さ千空はちゃんと死んでた手偽情報を流させるおお聞いたかよゲンて
霊長類最強の高校生獅子王司ちゃん Why did he choose to revive him? Oh, so you can trick them or what? Kimi no mentalist to stay no ude o m i k o n e t a n o m i t a s h i o t o g a r u n d a s h i n d i o y o n d e Hoshi, Senku to you Otokonga, Moshi Mada, Ikte Iruno Nara, Oreo Fukat Saseta Otoko. And you want to kill him or you take him to kill him? Orega Konote de Ayameta, Sekaichi Kiru Otokoda. に備えて死ぬほど仕込んでやがったのか骨の髄までマジシャンだよてめえはよしかし一体誰がこんなむごいこと朝霧源殺人事件の犯人が分かっちゃったんだよいや死んではないぞ<笑>妖術使いを殺した今最強はこの俺本当は琥珀を直でやれればよかったかな琥珀の女だてらにあの異常な強さ<笑>、ま、泣いてわびるのならルリと一緒に俺の女にしてやらんでもないがな大変なこと聞いちゃったんだよあの野郎しかしマグマが私の強さを妖術によるものだと勘違いしているとはな琥珀は素でゴリラ並みの強さのスゴリラだぞさせんいや間違いなく午前時や村では代々一世代に一度だけ遡ること数ヶ月前<笑>午前試合の優勝者が巫女の夫となり長を継ぐ今の長である私の父もそうしてきたのだ What led to where we are now, anyway? But I mean, such is nature's way, such is nature's way, except for people like Senku, who eventually did science and yada yada yada. It's like, it, does history repeat itself? Well, it's been a long time. I'm sorry. 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 マグマのやつ午前試合で優勝するために剣を殺したってことかよ化学王国民の男がマグマを破って優勝ルリネーと結婚して長になれば全ては解決だ勤労銀労君たちに聞きたいことがあるルリネーのことをどう思っている妻としてめとりたいと思うかうわルリ様は可愛いしあいや顔は小悪ちゃんとほぼ一緒なんだけどもおっぱもうしとやかで可愛いし最低すぎるぞ勤労貴様あのなんだよおっぱおっぱ<笑>もう分かっている千空が悪ではないことはいつものように説明は省いて構わん目的は何だ私は姉女の命を救いたいのだそれ以上の説明はいらないよ浅いそんなことでマグマを倒せると思うか本当は君にこそ稽古をつけたいのだマグマを倒せる可能性があるのは勤労銀労だけでなすまないクロムてめえがルリに惚れてっから勤労か銀労がルリと結婚しまう作戦をめんごめんごっつってんだよ<笑>
大丈夫またいつものやつが出たのか俺に任せろよルリ何でも探しまくってよ俺がいつか絶対直してやっからよおまるで問題ね科学の万能薬でルリが治ってなんせ俺は天才科学使いだからな午前試合はバトルチームの流して俺ら科学チームはサルファ剤作りに専念すんぞおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお回復まで当分かかりそうだなああ司が俺を殺しに来るタイムリミットまでそう長くねああ,あ,あ目を覚ませ銀狼<笑>でもよなんでこんなこっそりあレッツゴー待ってつかさちゃん俺だよ原始的な村があったよその連中と揉めてちょっと怪我しちゃったんだけどねそこに千空ちゃんは急いでコウモリ男を捕まえなければまで<笑>やつはほっといて問題ねえそもそもゲンが科学に1ミリも興味持たねえ男なら最初から協力すらしねえだろ軽薄男にも軽薄男なりの格好のつけ方っつうのがあんだよ面倒だなまったく男はああこれ飲み物も欲しくなっちゃうねコーラとかこのストーンワールドでコーラをああ作れる俺ならな<笑>千空ちゃんは影も形もいなかった剣は科学王国にああそのうちしれっと戻ってくんじゃねえかはっ朝霧玄ゲット戦争は科学王国の勝利だな玄はやっぱりいい人だったんだよしゃあコーラ一本で結んだ世界一薄っぺらの同盟だああせめてたっぷり冷えててくれないとねゲンが戻ってくるまでにアホほどキンキンのやつ科学駆使して用意しといてやっかセンクコーラ<笑>
take over villages like that with force. Just like uh, uh, in South Africa, not just South Africa, I guess, but parts of Africa, but especially South Africa, because I don't know the history of other parts. Like there were different tribes and stuff, like the Zulu tribes and the Kosa tribes. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to do the clicks. Um, and there were all different types of tribes. And there was this, uh, you can research him, a war hero. Uh, called Shaka Zulu, uh, but he actually t stole the crown from his brother, so he killed his brother so that he could be king, and he never ended up marrying, and there's a lot of other stuff that people used to, well, people use that as like proof that he apparently was gay, um, and in the Zulu culture, that's like, uh, like, I don't know how often it happens now but I know that um, like Zulu cultures they're very superstitious like you know how he beat him to death when he made the flowers disappear uh, when people were gay or for example uh, I don't know if you guys are Trevor Noah he used to tell this joke about when he was little because his mother's side was uh, a black family and um, this was obviously not a tribe this was a family but I'm, 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 I'm mixing, just talking about the culture, cultural differences now. And he used to say, like, he had an imaginary friend and he told his grandmother about this imaginary friend. You know how if most kids have this, like, this is, I don't know, Peter or whatever. And his grandmother, like, he obviously made a joke about it, but his grandmother, like, tried, like, beat him to, you know, beat the evil out of him. Like, because there's this imaginary friend. Like, it was scary to a, a grandmother, like... Anyway, so it's the same thing with like uh, uh, being gay. Uh, I don't think that was seen as like a lot of people, even still today, get punished for um, being gay, and their parents try to beat it out of them. I'm not saying it's just in the Zulu culture. I know this is a, there's a lot of cultures like that, and I'm not saying every person is like that. It's just something that I've learned. Um, and imagine how if it still happens today. Imagine how bad it was back then. You know, when it was like still tribes and villages like this village, like. When you're um, at that part of social development, any tribe like that, when you don't know about things like electricity and science and shit, everything is sorcery. And sorcery is scary because it's out of your control. So anyway, um, back then, Shaka Zulu, who stole the crown from his brother, uh, he was known as a war hero because he conquered a lot of other tribes through war and stuff. But... Uh, he was a very cruel leader and um, for example when his mother died uh, for a whole year he no one was allowed like any cow or human that got pregnant were to be killed because obviously they had sex and you're not allowed, allowed to have sex because you're supposed to be mourning for his mother's death like for a whole year so that i think with the cows he said like after the cow uh, birth the baby then the mother was died was supposed to be killed so that the baby can know should know what it's like to the pain of losing a mother I don't know it was a lot of crazy stuff and um, I think maybe that's what Senku is oh not Senku Tsukasa's planning on doing like he is making his side strong and now he wants to conquer other villages through his strength and if there was a leader like that magma magma guy he would they wouldn't even have to fight like i think he would like tukasi would go there and say this is my people they can beat your ass join my side or you know get beaten and i think a guy like that magma wouldn't because he doesn't have strong he's a strong guy he can beat anyone in his village but he doesn't have strong people to form an army with whereas tukasa is reviving people to form an, a strong army so that he can beat anyone into submission to follow him and that's why, uh, in Senku's case, and in many people's cases, like that's why science and, and guns and all these kinds of things emerge because there's no way you can beat a bunch of a gang of strong guys if you're one person and you don't have the strength. So you need to make a, a stun gun or whatever. Same as uh, when, like, if I'm gonna go walk in the street. I'm not gonna be. I know I'm not gonna be able like at night. I'm not gonna be able to beat anyone with my power. So I would have something that gives me an advantage, like a uh, paper spray or um, well, like a stun gun or something, because that's the only thing that would give me an advantage over someone that's strong. Something scientific. 
a kind of scientific weapon, if you will. Although, I don't know, pepper spray is not so much a scientific weapon, but it's, like, it's something that's not your own strength, you know. And even if I have that, it's not to say that I'm going to win because uh, there's still other ways they could beat me. I, I would just, you know what? I just don't go walking around at night by myself. Even in, like, as my town is not as unsafe as some parts in South Africa because I come from a really small town and it's not, like, there's not so much stuff going on, I guess. Um, but at night, no one would risk walking around alone. It is dangerous. Even during the day, like, I wouldn't go walking in areas where people aren't driving by all the time. And that's why I understand why Senku wants to invent guns. And I understand why, he, not necessarily guns, but any kind of weapon that to protect themselves so that they don't have to follow Tsukasa just out of fear of being killed because he can kill them in a second imagine a world like imagine a world like that people are ruled by force and violence and fear but the problem is even that's the one worst case scenario the other worst case scenario is where um, people get to vote and choose who who they want to lead them and then some kind of smart ass says a bunch of stuff and basically like mind fucks the masses and then they end up voting for him and or her and even though he won with a majority vote he's not as smart as he like there's a difference between senku smart wanting the best for humanity and then someone who is uses uh powerful words to that he that hollow word essentially um to get their way without having to resort to physical strength you know like an example is um, Hitler, who it was his speeches that riled people up, but the way he phrased things, that what he said, it made people feel like they had the right and the power and the da da da. And, like imagine tricking people into thinking, or, or convincing people into thinking they have a right to like do what they did back then, you know? And and that's how he gathered his strength in the same way that, you know, not in the same way, but in a similar way to how Tsukasa is gathering his strength. Like, it's insane to think, like, power, leadership, who gets to lead us, where they lead us, what... And then at the end of the day, most people are exactly like Gen, who they'll vote for anyone as long as that person is on their side and they get to benefit from it, whether it's right or wrong, you know? And, and when you're the one, when you're, you have the short end of the stick, when someone else is winning and everyone's voting for, it, for what's, making, what's best for them, and you're like, but what about me? But you do the exact same thing if, if, if you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's what makes it so scary because you can't even be mad at someone like Gain or mad at anyone in the world for voting what's best, for choosing what's best for them because you'd probably do the same thing. But um, as sad and scary as that thought that these thoughts make me like because like what the fuck is there no goodness in the world there is there's a lot of good people that do good things and people that make the right decisions and people that are trying to make the right decisions and people that are talking about making the right decisions and other people that are if the world really was as bad as we believe it is and i mean it's fucking bad but we're still most most of us if you're watching this video you're still okay, you know, it can't be that bad if, if so many of us are still okay. So I guess it's just up to each person to do the best that we can to help others, not even to make, not even to change the world on a big scale. Like you don't have to become a leader and change the world. If you can just, you know, grow up to be a relatively decent person that treats people decently, maybe that'll inspire them to do the same and I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't all try, maybe there should just be like five people who try to do something big and just a bunch of little people trying to do little things to make the world a better place. Anyway, I really like Senku, he's awesome. It's because he's not, um, and even Gain, like, he's more of a good person, like, like Senku said, he's not a good person, he's not a bad person, he's just in it for what's best for him. Uh, but I think he's leaning more towards the good side than towards the bad, especially considering what happened to him. Um, and he still chose to work with Senku at risk of his own life here. Like probably if, if I would have gone, if that happened to me, I would have gone to hide behind Tsukasa for the rest of my life. But yet 
he chose to help Senku for fucking cola, you know? So I, I definitely think he's leaning more towards good than towards bad. Yeah. Or I wouldn't even say he leans towards bad at all. I would say if, if Senku's like, he's not bad or good, he's like neutral, I would say he leans more towards good than towards neutral, if that makes sense. But this was a very good episode. When Gen, Gen said Senku-chan to Tsukasa, it cemented the fact to him that Senku was alive. Do you think so? Because he calls any, everyone Chan. Because he even said Tsukasa-chan. I can't, I don't blame him. I can't live without cola. What does it take to save Senku's life? A bottle of cola. Hopefully Tsukasa doesn't magically figure out Gen's plan as usual. It, it may, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Because remember, Gen is a mentalist. That is so good that even someone like Tsukasa chose to help him. You know, if Tsukasa acknowledged his mental powers, then I I guess he's he's better than we give him credit for. <laughs> this person. Dr. Pepper would be better, but whatever. And that makes you think of Steins Gate, Doc Pepper. Uh Simon. Sorry, I recently got him. Um, that Okabe, okay, I forgot his name. The mad scientist, Okarin, Okarin, thank you. Um, I got him, he's from Science Gate, I got him in Wife Wars. But that's it from my side. I'm going to upload this full reaction for patrons now, and uh, Hanku will edit this video for me when he has time this week. And yeah, I hope it'll be up. Today's it comes out on a Friday, so it'll probably be up on Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, so thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.